Yes, that's right. You heard the echo? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, that is not a strong, huh? No, that's not a strong. That's not, that not, that not a strong echo. Well, sometimes, but not sometimes, on the dish, we need to do some azimuth and elevation yeah, correction, correction yes. to reach the really, really yes. high. But I, I will try to. Yes, you need to be able to nudge on the tracking system. And I want to find. The echo is. We are taking a 90. Now we have the echo more or less in the same yeah. in the same frequency. I'm just, I'm using double BFO fixed in TX in 90 and RX. We're still on a rising moon. That's better. Yeah, well, let's go and see if we can push a little bit more. When we went to Stanford Dish, the 150 foot dish, or whatever, 250, and uh, they were playing with their system when we were there, we were very disappointed at their echo levels. But they did find a problem after us, but it was very disappointing. We expected really strong echoes, and they didn't have really strong echoes. Well, every, you know, sometimes you don't have a strong echo. No. It's not always. It depends on a lot of propagation. Seven hundred watts. That's better. Now you can say hello, John. Let's go and see if it works in USB. Let's do SSP. Uh,